going on? Retire on dividends here. Driving to work, to work out, and then work. So, what the hell can we talk about today? I figured, why not talk about YouTube? Let's talk about the good stuff. Let's talk about the bad stuff. Let's talk about if it's worth it. Let's talk about if we should just quit it all together and all that. Um, but anyway, to recap, most of you know that I started this channel over five years ago. And, you know, I started it when I first got into investing. And, you know, I went with the name The Broke Investor because it was very relevant for me at the time. And I thought it would attract people to the channel. <laughs> I was wrong, but regardless, I continued with the name and continued with the investing content and, you know, for the last, about like four years or so, um, on and off, very inconsistent. I would go months and months with no videos. And then, you know, it wasn't until recently, well, honestly, I got into crypto a little before Yield Max. And I was making maybe some money, maybe a little money, lost a lot of money. So I made some videos on that. But then Yield Max came out and uh, high yield funds came out. And I started making, you know, videos on those. And I noticed, you know, more engagement than ever before. You know, I was getting a large amount of subscribers, views, etc. Um, you know, e each video I made. <clears throat> so, and at the time I was just getting into the funds myself, but I was also talking about what I learned, you know, as I went on and it, all in all, it worked out, right? So it turned my tiny little channel into a channel that can actually become monetized. And you know, that was the goal, right? You do YouTube, you make videos to not only form a community, but produce some type of income, right? To generate some type, and you can't call this passive income, but it's just another source of really active income. But this is income that you can, you know, you can make the videos at your own time, right? At your own pace. It's not something, it's not a nine to five job where you're required to go to the office set amount of days, five days a week, so on and so forth. It's just something you can hit record at any point in time and make a video and move on. So the flexibility is, you know, what makes it, you know, also great. However, making money on YouTube is not something that's easy, right? It's very, very hard. And <clears throat> I don't know, you know, how much these larger YouTube channels make, but I assume they do pretty well. Um, it also depends on the type of content. Now, my content is very different from your average investing YouTube. Because if you look at most investor YouTubes, they're going to make videos that are kind of relevant, you know, not only today, but tomorrow, next week, and next month. So my videos have a date attached to it. I put a date in the title. And when I say my videos, I'm talking about the daily videos. So. You know, if you're watching YouTube and you see a video that's dated last month, obviously you're not gonna watch it. So my videos are really, you know, useful for the day, maybe the day after, but that's the problem. However, they do get a decent amount of views, so it is worth it for me to make, you know, the daily videos. The problem with making daily videos is it's daily. So there are no days off. And I was looking back and I started making the, well, it all started with Tesla. I started covering that on a daily basis in October of 2023. And I'm pretty sure that I did not miss a day still up until now. I still haven't missed a day. I don't know. I'd have to go back <coughs> and look at every single video, but I know at least that's when I started. And I don't remember missing a video. Um, you know, I've done them through freaking bumps, man. I've done them through uh, vacationing, uh, being sick, 
as you guys saw, people thought I was like dying. But, um, and you know, it's tough, but it's worth it, all right? Consistency does pay off, right? If you do something and you do it on a daily basis and you post it on the same time every single day, people come to expect it, then your audience will stick. And that's kind of what happened. And, you know, there's no looking back now. So, so the good is, I mean, it's created a, a great community. So I have created, you know, every single day, for those of you that don't know, <clears throat> my daily videos, I make them in the morning, <clears throat> usually around between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. in my garage on my phone because my house is usually sleeping then, and I upload them and premiere them at 6.30 a.m. Now, what a premiere is, it's basically, <clears throat> it goes live at that time that you set it for, for the first time. But since it goes live, you're able to chat live with other people, which sometimes, you know, I'll be there as well. And it, it gives it, I guess, like the first time seeing it at the same time with others, it, it makes it a little exciting. In the beginning, when I started doing that, you know, there was like maybe 10 people. Um, but now it's come to like 100. I've had up to like 200 people. And it's, it's not a live stream, so I'm not making the videos live. It's just a live, you know, a video, a pre-recorded video that is showing at this, you know, live live on YouTube for the first time with a live chat. That's basically it. Uh, so to get that type of, you know, uh, viewership is really, it's really awesome. Um, so I'd have to say the me being consistent does pay off in YouTube world because my views are rather consistent. Sometimes some days are bigger than others, but for the most part, everything's the same. Like I get around the same amount. Well, if I tell people to like, hit the like button in the beginning of the video, obviously I get more likes, but if I don't, I typically get the same amount of likes um, per video. I get the same amount of views, same amount of watch hours. So all of that ends up being the same. And as long as I've been consistent, you know, it's always performed rather well. So with that consistency, you know, again, that produces, I guess, an income that is also consistent, which is what I need because YouTube was part of my wife's income replacement. All right, let me get over and let these people pass me. But, um, so I need, I need a reliable source of income. Now keep in mind, the YouTube AdSense income really like it's not all that impressive you know there's days that happen where I get like 20 bucks and then you know there's days where I did the J video and I made like 200 bucks in a day so it all depends on the type of video but obviously my daily videos are good for the day and that's pretty much it so I understand that and but the problem is I don't really have too much time to do I guess what they call the evergreen videos, which will be a little more useful for an extended period of time. Um, but when I do, obviously I do. Because again, I have a set schedule. I do, there's the Monday recap, and then there's five daily videos, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then outside of that, I do my options and swing trading weekly update. And then I do my defiance weekly update. So those I do every single week. Now, outside of those, then we have the yield max uh, estimates. We have the yield max distribution, the Y max estimate, the Y max distribution, the defiance estimate, the defiance distribution. And then you have the clip update videos, which I've been slacking on. And then the FEPI update videos, which I do once a month. And all things like that. So taking those out of the equation, there's really not much time for me to make any other videos, to be honest, which kind of sucks.
because when I do have time to make those other videos, they do perform well. And I notice, you know, they continue to perform well. So, again, that's all the good, you know, that it is. It's good. But again, it, it's my own fault. I've waited, you know, maybe I should have stepped it up a notch earlier on in my YouTube career. Uh, but again, I've always had, you know, uh, a kid d during my YouTube tenure. So I'm not going to say it's ever really, I've ever really had truly a lot of time, but it's, uh, it's gotten much harder as I've gotten older and the second kid came along because I've, as I've gotten older, work has gotten much harder. And then two kids, it's just a game changer, man. One kid was hard, but two kids, it's really, it's rough. So that's why I make videos on my phone in the garage, in the car, because you know, you can't make videos typically with crying kids in the background. You can't think with crying kids in the background. So, and it's not like I'm in some mansion where I could go in a secluded office where you can't, you know, hear the kids. So, but again, that's why, and I have to do the videos early for the daily videos because they have to be out by 6.30 a.m. That seems to be a popular time, so I'm sticking with it. I can never really make it the night before because some data is not available. And by the time it becomes available, I'm, I'm already in bed. So it ha that's why I have to get up early to make the daily videos. So is it worth it? Um, so far, yes. So, I mean, the good is the income, right? The good is the income. The good is the community because with YouTube, since I started YouTube, I created a, a Discord and it's become like a monster of its own, right? A lot of people probably maybe found my Discord through YouTube and they may or may not even watch my videos anymore, but they just, they just enjoy the discussion in the Discord because it's all things investing, right? It's it's basically because we have a channel for everything health and exercise cars and obviously investing um you know minor accounts like minor brokerage you know things like that and when you have a question about especially investing who are you going to ask right not your friends not your family because they're more than likely not knowledgeable in the topic so it, it's helpful to have a place to go to granted you don't know these people worth a crap but you know they you can you can tell you know some of these people are really good people that are willing to help one another and answer one another so to be that's you know kind of what I'm most proud about is building that community and I hope that it grows and grows the only problem is when you build a community and this is a free discord I guess the problem with free discords is to get spammed bad you know, the spammers, they're not going to pay to spam. So if they could just join for free, they go in, they create a name, my name, you know, retire on dividends. They'll make that name and they message people as soon as they join and they sell them Bitcoin or they sell them this and they just, they sweet talk them and try to convince them to do something. And sometimes I'm guessing there's a fair amount of people that join, they see that and they, they just leave. I mean, hopefully no one falls for it. I'd rather them leave than fall for it, but people think I'm scamming them. Although if they watch my videos, I'm assuming they can, most of them can guess, all right, that's not the way you would talk, you know, because these scammers are just robotic, you know, speaking. Hi, I heard you were interested in Bitcoin. Dur, 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 dur. Yeah, that's me. That's me right there. But, but yeah, that's the unfortunate part about Discord, uh, which sucks, but whatever. But anyway, it's a great community. Uh, by the way, there's a, the Discord link is attached to my YouTube channel if you're interested in joining. All right. So the bad with YouTube is there is like a lot of drama in, in YouTube space, especially in the finance space, because everyone knows everything. Right? Everyone is just, and they're trying to be like a one-upper, right? Some channels, they think like if they talk crap about another channel, that'll help them. I don't know. Or if they make fun of a way a certain channel invests, that'll help them. Again, I, I don't know. And then, and then there's just channels that like, 
kind of like record other channels and talk about them, which I don't even know how that's allowed. But there's just a lot of unnecessary drama. And with high yield funds, oh my God. Oh man, like some investing channels, like the growth mindset, they cannot, they just can't get over it. Like they can't believe that a 50% yield is possible, right? They just think it's an immediate scam without giving it a chance. So they shut it down and they, you know, they rip on the channel, they rag on the channel. And it's just like, I mean, granted, I only, I'm sure I only see half of it. And I'm sure people, you know, people talk crap about my channel, uh, Kamir's channel, uh, you know, Tactical Stock Scalper, Max Vexity. You know, we all got our little share of bashing, which, you know, it is what it is. But I figured it comes with the territory. So it's all good. I understand putting myself out there. You know, that's what can happen. And I have to get over it. And I am over it. I don't really care what people say, to be honest. It doesn't really matter. Say what you want. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't change the way I think. Um, do, I, do I watch? If I see something bashing my channel, should I watch? Sure, why not? You know, see what they say. Maybe, maybe there's a point. Maybe I am doing something wrong. But if it's just garbage, like, you know, not no factual information, just bashing, then, you know, I got... What's the point? Like, I'm not going to give them any views or whatnot. But, again, in the YouTube space, there's a lot of that. So, if you are getting into YouTube, just prepare for that. Don't take it to heart, right? You need thick skin. Um, so, and again, it, it's your choice to, to respond, right? Because some channels, they want that feedback, right? They, they attack channels in hope to get a response. And if they get a response... It creates, we'll say, must-see TV, right? Like a, a YouTube war or, you know, like a... I don't know. That's how this social media crap goes, man. They, they just like that. But I didn't, you know, I'm too old. I ain't got time for that. Like, I don't care. You know, if you don't like my channel, you want to make fun of it, have fun, man. Go ahead, do it. I really don't give a crap. Make fun of this commute video. Go ahead, bash me doesn't matter what the hell do I care I don't I mean if you want to talk about my channel you're you're probably getting me more subscribers so is that what you want I guess fine take it I'll take it but you know that's what people do so it's all good I don't care um, so for those of you that see I guess the channels you don't have to tell me I don't care if other channels talk about make fun of yield max or make fun of this that and the other thing you know let them do that that's that's their niche, right? That's their thing. And more power to them. I hope they I hope they do well. I hope they make some money. Again, they're, we're all in YouTube for, you know, exposure, get the word out. And obviously, a lot of people are here for, for the money. Now, there's the other side of, you know, the bad. The other side of the bad is uh, the time. You know, the time spent. And there is... A lot of time spent and I went through this in my um, how much I make on YouTube video so you know basically I'm making uh, a California minimum wage at the moment which is around 20 bucks an hour or so 18 18 to 20 an hour so is that worth it? I mean yeah it's worth it to make videos at home but yeah it's time consuming you know but this is the type of work that I personally enjoy so again to me you know, they always say, you always hear people like, uh, you know, was it Kevin O'Leary? You'll never work a day in your life if you love your job or something like that, you know? So this, like, to me is is fun. So if I could ever do this full time, obviously I would. My problem is um, I don't really have time to look into the uh, how to be a better YouTuber, right? I just make the videos, I post them, I don't I'm I don't check what videos do better than others. I don't check click rates, uh, impressions, whatever the hell you call it. I just look at the views and the likes and that's it. And how much I make. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really, you know, I'm not digging deeper. Now, I also get emails all the time <clears throat> through my email address, through Twitter, through Instagram. Yeah, 
asking for partnerships on different things, um, like Seeking Alpha, uh, Mumu reached out, you know, all these, you know, companies, a lot of companies I've never heard of, but I, you know, they have websites, I'm like, okay, but it's like, okay, do I really want to do that, I mean, and then they ask, oh, what's your rate, I'm like, what the hell, I don't know, how do I, what is my rate for what, like, again, I, I feel like once I go down that road, then, you know, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not saying I shouldn't, you know, I, I probably should, right, I probably should, um, do, get a partnership and do ads for certain, uh, companies if I believe in them, why the hell not, right, so, but it's, it's, just, it's just not something I have time to even bother with, I mean, because, Number one, like, if it's a company I never heard of, don't use, and like, what's the point? All right, yeah, use this. I don't even know who they are, how the hell they are, but use them. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I need to get over it and just do it because I hear from other YouTubers that, that that's really how you make money, right? You don't make money from the AdSense, which is the YouTube ad money, um, but you make money from the partnerships and the ad, whatever the hell you call it, promotions, uh, things like that. So. I don't know. I got. I gotta sit down and think about that one, but because I'm not like. I don't know. Eh, who knows? I'll, again, to be to be continued. But yeah, that that's supposed to be producing, um, you know, more money than YouTube even sometimes. But maybe I could find one good partnership, and that's it, right? Exclusive. I'll be exclusive to this company. But I don't know. We'll see. All right, what else? What else is good and bad about YouTube? Well, this is good, right? I can make a video driving to work and people will watch it, right? That's good because people, you know, due to the fact that they watch my daily videos and they like my content, they're willing to listen to me <clears throat> drive to work and talk about whatever. I don't know if this video in particular helps anyone, but. You know, maybe people are curious why I bother, you know, dealing with YouTube. And, uh, <coughs> again, it is fun. Like, I invest in the, the, everything I cover, I invest in, right? I mean, obviously, I cover some ETFs, new ETFs. <coughs> I won't necessarily invest in, but it's just something that interests me that I want to cover. But for the most part, everything I cover um, is something I'm interested in. So obviously it's talking about it is not a big issue. And hitting record and talking on the way to work is just like commuting, pretend you're commuting with someone and you're just yapping on the way to work. It's the same crap, except you're getting paid for it. Granted, the commute videos, I don't get paid much. <clears throat> In fact, I should probably check like how much I get paid on the commute videos to see. Um, and I'll, maybe I'll mention it on the next one, but uh, that'll be pretty funny. You know, get, and I'll make a video getting paid to drive to work. There you go. There's clickbait, right? You know, how I get paid to drive to work. There you go. Done. I should do it. A lot of people do. They love the clickbait, man. They love the clickbait. <clears throat> and then they put the in the th thumbnail. Now I can't talk, <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to end this soon. Um, a picture. Of, of their face in the thumbnail make it oh my, you know all these crazy it's like I guess that's clickbait I don't know but uh maybe if you're a girl I don't think anyone cares about seeing some dude with his face like yeah no bro it ain't working for you but uh some think it will that's why I could I mean I don't really my thumbnails are okay they're not that great they're repetitive but I don't know Obviously, I'm not doing myself any favors if I'm not making them clickbaitish. I don't edit my videos. I don't do all this and that. And yeah, I know you hear me coughing, spitting. <coughs> well, no, I never spit, but drinking water because I can't talk. I love losing my voice. But um, but anyway, so that's the good and bad about YouTube. I probably didn't cover a lot of it, but since I'm losing. My voice, I don't feel like coughing along. Uh, I'll end it here, but you know, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tune in for the next commute video. If you like these commute videos, please let me know. If you like a certain topic to be talked about, also let me know. And as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. These videos are for fun and entertainment, especially the commute videos, you know? Because <coughs> all we talk about is fun stuff, right? Non-investing stuff half the time. But if you want to start a YouTube and you have questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below or you can ask me in the Discord. All right? Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm almost at the gym, at the work gym. So I got to get, get the pump, wake up, have a good workout. All right, I'm out of here. Later.